California oranges are another of the crops that help make America the dominant force in world agriculture. And like Florida, citrus groves can be found in a large portion of the Golden State. But citrus is a crop that depends on good weather to reach its full potential. So what happens when Mother Nature refuses to cooperate? Well, our Pat McConaughey found out in the Central Valley of California. This is California's citrus belt, a quarter million acres of groves stretching half the length of the state. California is the nation's second largest citrus producer, behind Florida. So when cold freezing weather hits the groves, the financial toll can be devastating. Jody, this is pretty ugly. What is it? This is the exterior damage, uh, which we call ice mark. And this is about as severe as we're ever going to see. Let's see the inside and what the damage is. So what are we looking at? You can see all the segments have ruptured and they're dried out. And this is severe, severe damage. Jody Wallenman and his brother Guy operate a farm management company and grow some 1,800 acres of citrus and olives on their Monte Vista ranches south of Fresno. Although citrus farmers ran wind machines, irrigated, and kept fires burning throughout the cold nights, in most cases that just wasn't enough to save their crop. Groves can withstand 28 degree temperatures for up to five hours, but in this particular freeze, those temperatures dipped in the low 20s for up to eight hours, day after day. California produces only a quarter of the nation's oranges, but that crop amounts to more than 80% of the fresh navel oranges that make their way to your supermarket. For growers here, a freeze means hundreds of millions of dollars in losses, not only in citrus, but in other crops like lettuce and avocados. I would say one of our uh, leanest periods of cash flow, because we haven't harvested any fruit, there's no money coming in, and yet we have some of the highest bills we've ever seen in January and February from utility bills for uh, propane, for electricity, to run our pumps or wind machines. Bad weather is a reality for farmers, ranchers, and growers. Whether it's freezing temperatures here, heavy snows in the plains, or hurricane force winds across the Gulf Coast states, most farmers do carry insurance, but that covers only a portion of their losses. And there's a human toll as well. After this freeze, some 5,000 harvest hands were out of work. Those who remained to salvage what fruit was left had less to pick. The people that I'm supervising, they're not making what they were used to this time of the year, and I'm pretty sure they're having a hardship trying to beat in ants because of they're not making what they're, you know, they have planned to do. And you'll find the same story at packing houses that process the fruit. Well, it is tough because uh, your bills keep piling up and you don't have anything to look forward because uh, packing house is not, you know, working every day the same hours. Many packing houses shut down or, in the case of Labu Brothers and Lindsay, operate with greatly reduced hours. This business normally sells four million cartons of navel oranges a year. This freeze dramatically reduced that number. To help, the citrus industry looks to technology, examining oranges with ultraviolet light, making sure that what they do pack meets consumer standards. If it's cold, uh, the oil cells in the rind are rupture, and under a black light, then those ruptured cells uh, fluoresce, and you begin to notice, uh, like the, the starry night out, you can tell if that orange is frozen or not. Being prepared to survive a freeze is one of the costs of doing business in the Central Valley of California. Through each deep freeze, Philip Labou says the industry learns something new. The past freezes, I think what we have learned is that the next one is coming. We don't know when, and you better start to prepare for it uh, the next day.